The UK Defence Ministry recently revealed that Ukraine's armed forces have procured Sandown class vessels from the Royal Navy. These mine hunters, designed to clear mines and ensure safe waters for larger vessels, are a crucial acquisition for Ukraine, addressing challenges posed by the Russian invasion and opening up vital export routes in the Black Sea. Interestingly enough, the Royal Navy has initiated the process of transitioning towards unmanned and autonomous systems, marking the replacement of traditional minesweepers and mine hunters. In today's video, we discuss the evolving landscape of mine countermeasures and examine the clear trajectory towards autonomy in shaping the future of naval operations. A mine countermeasures vessel is a specialized naval ship designed for the detection and elimination of naval mines, combining the functions of both minesweeper and mine hunter within a single hull. In contemporary naval contexts, MCMVs are designed to pinpoint, identify, and render harmless or remove underwater mines. The term mine broadly encompasses any explosive device strategically placed in or near water to inflict damage upon or obliterate ships, submarines, or other naval vessels. The presence of these mines poses a substantial threat to naval operations, maritime trade, as well as coastal security. With this in mind, mine countermeasure duties align with the criteria for the application of unmanned systems. The tasks are dull, dirty, and dangerous, making them well suited for automation. In addition, employing small, unmanned MCM platforms can prove to be a more cost-effective option that inherently prioritizes the safety of human operators. In the case of the Royal Navy, the new unmanned systems will be able to detect mines five to ten times faster than current manned ships, even in challenging conditions. The shift to unmanned systems will involve replacing conventional vessels, starting with the Sandown class and subsequently the Hunt class, to uphold the Royal Navy's global mine hunting superiority. The move toward automation not only enhances operational efficiency, but also holds promise for notable advantages in time, safety, and cost, potentially making the Royal Navy's MCM fleet the first to be entirely replaced by unmanned systems. Launched in 2020, the initiative responsible for developing these unmanned systems is actually a collaborative effort between France and Britain in the Maritime Mine Countermeasure Program. Thales and BAE Systems have secured contracts to manufacture three prototypes of the system, with L3 Harris playing a key role in delivering the autonomous surface vessel component. In December 2022, Thales announced that their prototype uncrewed surface vessel, the Apollo, successfully concluded open water trials in autonomous mine hunting operations. Equipped with a powerful sensor suite comprising radar, a lighter scanner, and electro-optical and infrared cameras, the Apollo demonstrated continuous secure communication of its position to the command and control center. Thales also stated that the USV will be designed for deployment in national waters or rapid air transportation worldwide to address mine threats in danger zones or secure sea lines of communications. RNMB Apollo is one of two pre-production USVs, part of joint UK-France program. With Stage 2 of the contract currently in production, Thales is targeting full operating capability for both nations by 2024. As we explore the future of mine countermeasures, one clear trajectory emerges – autonomy. The UK stands at the forefront of this shift, leading the charge with unmanned and autonomous systems in naval operations. That doesn't mean that the recent transfer of Sandown class vessels to Ukraine is simply a practical exchange, but rather a strategic effort to align Ukraine's navy with Western allies and reinforce security in the Black Sea. Looking ahead, as Ukraine moves towards potential NATO integration, the prospect of incorporating autonomous systems in their naval operations too could become a reality. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.